heading out to Orlando, guys. Uh, you guys just saw me packing. I packed a little bit last minute. I'm um, actually in the morning here. I got to fly out here in about know, about half an hour. But um, going to head to actually Orlando, Florida. I've been there, I don't know, countless times. But uh, this will be the first time I'm going to be heading to uh, Ronnie Coleman's Signature Series to uh, meet with Brendan and kind of see what he's got going on over there. Um, impressive company overall. I mean, uh, you don't see too much of it domestically, but uh, international-wise, I mean, they are just crushing it right now. And obviously, the brand name of Ronnie Coleman uh, plays really well over an international market. So I'm going to, you know, check it out. We've got a podcast we're going to be uh, doing. We've got some other content we're going to be doing. So. <laughs> What you guys are seeing here is I'm basically welcoming you guys to Ronnie Coleman's signature series. But uh, what I came to find out after uh, leaving Orlando was that there was a uh, Wi-Fi router in this conference room that was picking up some like major feedback on my microphone. So um, the one that was on my camera, it was basically picking up some interference. So I wasn't able to get any great audio that was in this room. The other unfortunate thing here was that I taped uh, some segments uh, for YouTube and then also the podcast here. Um, lucky for me, I had a uh, backup uh, for the audio on the uh, podcast with some uh, mics. So we still got that, but it's just going to take a little bit of time for me to mix it all together. But uh, yeah, sorry about this audio here, guys. I mean, you've mentioned Ronnie's name uh, a few times kind of casually, but, you know, I think obviously now looking back, I mean, that was a big kind of moment in your life. I mean, obviously you, you had access to a lot of the athletes. I mean, in yeah. BSN during that time, they were, they were really heavy in a lot of different athletics, not only, you know, what most people probably think of as, you know, bodybuilding. Um, you know, they were the official s uh, supplement sponsors of the UFC. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So that was the, f when UFC was kind of in their extreme hyper growth phase. Yep. Um, so you had access to like a lot of athletes. Why? I mean, what made you get along with Ronnie or what, you know, was there a point that you said, Hey, this is, could be somebody that I could work with in the future or like, did it just yeah. naturally happen or it was definitely more of an organic thing, you know, like I couldn't predict that BSM was going to sell when they sold and a lot of the, there's a lot of, you know, things that I think kind of formed the ultimate decision to, to make that, uh, to make that leap. Um, you know, I, I just traveled so much with Ronnie. We were really like kind of family on the road and he, um, I always liked his his personality like Ronnie's like the hardest worker ever right so like this guy I knew that he he like appreciated the hustle sure and I knew that he wasn't scared of work you know and it was also you know so then so you have that like okay I know that you know in the back of my head that we make good partners I have strengths that he would consider weaknesses for himself and vice versa and then you know he obviously at, at towards that end too so he's he, he you know he lost the Mr. Olympia right so his reign you know of Olympia's came to a halt and then BSN got purchased by a massive, you know, company, uh, Glambia, as you know. And I think that, you know, the mindset of that company of Glambia when they bought BSN was they wanted to take it in a different direction. And I don't think Ronnie was ever going to be a part. And I know that I know that he wasn't ever, you know, being in there that he wasn't going to be a part of the their long term strategy. Right. And so, you know, you have this for for Ronnie, I think his 
you know, decision to kind of move on. Uh, I think it was a mutual decision between BSN and him, but at the time, but was like, you know, okay, I'm declining in pay. I'm declining in like, and what they perceive popularity, like how much longer is this going to go? Or do I just cut it off by the neck here and go attempt to do something myself? Sure. And he's always been a guy that's kind of dabbled in different business ventures. A lot of them, you know, haven't worked out. Unfortunately, some of them have done okay. Um, but you know, when he left, I was like, in the same, in a similar position, I was, I, I knew that I was in a spot of imposition when Glambia came in because I'm like this fast working dynamic guy, you know, and then he came in and was like, kind of like, Hey, you need to slow down. And yeah. I'm like, dude, I make decisions. I go up to the owner and I put stuff on his desk and he signs off on this. Yeah. And now I'm like, you need to kind of like slow down and, you know, I'm dynamic. I, you know, I'm passionate and say, you know, I say swear words and stuff. So that's not <laughs> usually like accepted well in like meetings. Um, you know, so I, I felt like one of the biggest learning experiences and the best things that you could do for yourself to be successful is to understand how big of a role your environment plays in you being the best version of yourself. Sure. And so at that point in time, I felt like the environment wasn't suited for like who I was to be the best that I could be. Oh, oh, oh. Something that I noticed right uh, after I got home and something that you guys already kind of saw from the editing of the video that I'm going to probably have to do is that uh, the audio in the conference room, unfortunately, um, just was not good. They had a, a big like Wi-Fi router that was in there and I'm still kind of new to this, so I wasn't really uh, aware that that was going to cause any issues with the, with the mic that I have on my camera. Um, you know, it was one of those things where like I saw it and I was like, is that going to do something? And, you know, I should have probably checked. Um, and it's just a good lesson overall. I mean, like, I mean, biggest thing here is I'm definitely like just like super new to this. Like you guys know, like super vulnerable, like in the sense of like most of the stuff that I do on a day to day basis, I'm pretty good at, you know. I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident when I step into boardrooms or, or anything like that. And this is kind of a little bit different. You know, I'm still stepping into a boardroom, but I'm trying to capture some content. And a lot of times, you know, things aren't going exactly how I would wish they would go. You know, I'm, I'm used to seeing, you know, content from these creators that are great. They, they've been doing this for years and I expect myself to be at that level already. And unfortunately I'm not. So, you know, I want to thank Brendan. I want to thank uh, Derek as well, which you guys didn't see in the video, but he's their uh, CMO. We did a segment together that unfortunately it was just kind of worthless. So, um, you know, I owe both of those guys uh, some extra kind of content that I'll probably end up having to do, um, you know, at a show, maybe at the Olympia that's coming up or something like that. But, you know, I had a blast in Orlando. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that some of those things happen, but overall i mean the trip was great talking to the the team over there getting to know brendan like on a uh, more personal level over those uh, you know day and a half it, you know it was great i mean I, honestly i would uh, wouldn't trade that for the world even though there was uh, you know some obvious issues there so um i'm gonna end up this video this week there um you know it's just kind of be the travel uh, vlog on this one i'll get back to maybe um, some more variety next week, but, um, if you guys stuck around this far, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed to me yet, make sure you guys do subscribe to me. Um, you know, I, I, I have not that many subscribers, but I, I tend to get probably three or four X the amount of views. So you guys are watching it, but you guys aren't following along, uh, you know, for the ride. So, um, you know, until then I'll see you guys in the next one.